We have new information on a story we first brought you last night on WASH. Tonight, new video shows an alleged attack on a Brevard County bus driver and the reactions of some terrified children on the bus at the time. WASH News Dan Billow shows us a look at that new video and tells us what's happened to the accused attacker. The school bus stops on Friday Road in Coco every afternoon, and 44 year old Kelly Lofney picks up her son at the stop. But Friday, she didn't have her ID, and the bus driver was a substitute. Video from the bus is intentionally blurred to protect the children's identity. Hey, I need your ID. I don't have it. I haven't had it since the beginning of the year. Sit down. No, you're not taking my kid back with you. Hey, 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 hey. That's all of my kids. I am not running three streets down to get ID. Yesterday, we tried to talk to Lofman. Kelly, can I ask you a question? I don't have nothing to say to you. Yesterday, we tried to talk to Lofman. Kelly, can I ask you a question? I don't have nothing to say to you. I need to say to you. my left and she won't get off. Deputies say Lofney struck and shoved the driver. The bus was coming from Saturn Elementary School and had a pretty full load of children, very young children, quite a few of them kindergartners, some of them even pre K kids. The terrified children were held on the bus while Lofney was arrested and charged with battery on a school employee. Parents at later stops had to wait through an anxious delay. In Coco, Dan Billow, WESH 2 News.